Like, man, my back is not erect. What the hell? If your back isn't erect, you won't get respect. I think I said that correctly. I'm not sure. I question myself every single day. Mm -hmm. So the other day I went to the thrift store, I got like a bunch of stuff. I, it's a blur basically at this point, but the one thing I do remember getting this long pink denim skirt. It's this, um, you just basically have to see my vision. Okay, don't roast me just yet. At the end of this video, then you can roast me because I'm pretty sure I'm an unconfident person. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fuck up some way or another. But through this fuck up, you'll learn from my mistakes. And if you fuck up too, then we're just in the same boat. So I see it as a win-win. So I want to make it into a mini skirt. So like around like right here, this nice, beautiful winter evening. Cause you know, <laughs> you know what they say. It's cold outside, but I'm still looking like a daddy because I hope it never gets cold. Since the skirt is a bit loose on my waist, I uh, like to have it stay on my waist. And I really don't like belts. I feel like it's suffocating me. I like to make it really tight. I think outfits without belts look really nice. As you can see, I'm not, yeah. If I sew it and it stays on my waist, then that's a plus. <laughs> So what you want to always do first is flip the skirt inside out and establish how short or long you'd want the skirt to be. So what I decided to do was get my plaid skirt that I already had and I already liked the length of and decided to measure that skirt and that skirt turned out to be about 15 inches. So when I grabbed the measurements for that skirt, I decided to transfer it to my pink skirt so my pink skirt could be 15 inches as well. And once I found where the 15 inches are, I marked it right in the center of the skirt and did the same measurements to the side of my skirt. So the side of my skirt will be 15 inches as well. And once that's established, I create a straight line and then I go on the right side and I do 15 inches as well and mark it. And once I establish that, I create a straight line there. And for extra precaution, I made sure that the bottom of my skirt had equal measurements and that was about 7 inches I believe. Once you're confident that it's all equal, then make a straight line across your skirt entirely. Once you're finished creating the line, you cut across, but be extra careful at this part because this is the part where if you mess up, there's really no going back. So take as much time as you need, and then once you're done cutting off all the fabric that you don't need, you flip it over and see how it turned out. And we have a mini skirt, ladies and gentlemen. This actually came out pretty nice. And I love the freaking color, man. This came out real nice. I'll definitely wear it. I didn't mention this before, but I love the color because I know it'll come out so good in photo. As you can tell from the try-on that we did earlier, it was a bit loose on me. So what I'm going to end up doing is sew along the sides just to make it tighter and really squeeze my body. You know, I have this thing where I don't like breathing when I put on my clothes. We're going to flip the skirt inside out again and grab it from the center of the skirt to fold it to reveal the sides. I'm working with the sides of the skirt now. I've decided for the top of my skirt to have an inch cut off. So I'm, what I'm doing is marking an inch on the top and as I progress towards the middle, I'm doing an inch and a half. So towards the midsection, my skirt will be tighter for me. And as I'm progressing towards the bottom of my skirt, it'll be two inches. So around my thigh area will be much more tighter than it is on my waist. So I could have the fitted look for the skirt. And once I'm confident with my measurements, I draw a vertical line down and I do the exact same thing to the next side. Now this is the other side and I'm doing the exact same thing, an inch on top, 
in the midsection, it will be an inch and a half, and at the very bottom, or towards the bottom, will be two inches, and draw a straight line down. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that you're done marking along the sides, we will be sewing them together. I'll probably show you how to do it. So you see the line right here? I'm just gonna fold it like this, so you can still see it from right here. Just gonna fold it and then just sew along the line. It's pretty that simple, honestly. So I fucked up. Hmm. What's new? So I basically didn't make a straight line while sewing. So I just went back and did that real quick, just to straighten it out. And now I'm tying the threads together. And this is only one side I've done so far. Next up, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm starving as well. I really want a sandwich. Freaking love paninis. I'm a slut for paninis. I'm just trying to make a knot over here. Let me make a knot. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Okay, I'll show you how this is went down. Okay, so you can see two lines right here, right? One straighter than the other. The one that, you know, came out crooked. I had to fix it, so I did, I think. Shit, did I fix it? Holy fuck, hold on, fuck. Yeah, I fixed it, I fixed it. Okay, I got it. Let me do the other side. consistent I'd say. Oh, I want to sew the seams first. I think that's what it's called, the seams. I don't know. These things. All I'm gonna do is basically do this and then fold it a little bit and just sew along. So it would look like really finished at the end instead of like kind of like distressed. After I'm done sewing this, the skirt should be complete. This is one side completed. Came out real nice. Then we do the other side. This is the skirt completed. It actually looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the old skirt with the now new skirt. And this is the final product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Yeah, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous.